हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल नॉलेज एम्प्लीफायर सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कशन ऑन काफ्का आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल काफ्का इन आवर लोकल मशीन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिलेटेड टू काफ्का आर्किटेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस सेवरल कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन डिटेल सो इफ यू वांट टू नो दोस डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशंस यू कैन गो थ्रू द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन क्विकली सेट अप काफ्का इन क्लाउड इन ईसी टू इंस्टेंस ओके सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू ईसी टू and then here what i will do i will go to instance and i will launch an instance okay so i have shown you already installation in windows machine now let's see in linux machine okay i will select a linux instance and that is obviously free trial eligible one i am choosing as of now for demo purpose so here what i will do i will change the security group to all tcp as of now and anywhere it should be accessible and i will launch this okay I will just make sure your one existing key pair I am choosing for entering in this particular server is in Putty. I will just select that and I will launch the instance. Okay. So here, as you can see, currently my instance is in pending state. Soon it will be in running state, and then we can basically enter in that using Putty. Okay. So here you can see currently the instance is now running. I will just. Uh, Enter inside that, and I will take the public IP v4 DNS, and I will try to enter in it using Putty. Okay, so I will take my key pair, and I will open this. So here we are now inside our EC2 instance. Okay, now here I have written some steps. These steps I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section as usual. So first step, what we are doing, we are downloading the Kafka from the website. What we did in our Windows machine installation also, it is done. If I do ls, currently you can see the tgz, the compressed file is there. So we have to just unzip that. So we'll use tar command to do that, and it is done. If I do ls, let me just make this Windows a bit clear. And see here, currently this is the unzipped version and this is the zipped version. Okay. So this unzipped version is our requirement. So if you recall in our previous video when I did set up in our Windows machine, the unzipped version we got as this. Inside that, all these scripts are present, whatever required, like to start our zookeeper or to start our Kafka broker or Kafka server, to create the topic, to start the producer, to start the consumer. Every script are available here only, right? So before going to that, we have to make sure that Java is installed. So let me just. Check Java installation status with Java hyphen hyphen version. Sorry, Java hyphen version, and you can see the Java is not there. So for Kafka, Java is required. So I am just downloading and installing Java. Okay, one point eight point zero. So here I am just entering that command. Yes, I want to install that. So here installation is complete. Now if I do Java hyphen version, here we'll see the version. Okay, that means it is perfectly working. Java is installed. Now we will go inside the directory where we have unzipped using cd command. And now if I do ls, here I will see bin config libs license notice and site docs. Same thing whatever we have seen here bin config libs license log site docs etc etc. Okay, right. So now, what I can do? I can start my Zookeeper. So to start the Zookeeper, we need to use Zookeeper Server Start dot sh. So if you recall the previous video, we entered inside bin, and inside bin all the cell scripts are there. But we were not able to use that because we were setting up our Kafka in Windows. So we entered in, in inside this Windows folder. There actually Zookeeper Server Start bat file was there. What we were using, right? But now we are working in Linux machine in EC2. So we can directly use the cell scripts only, right? So I will just do bin zookeeper server start dot sh, and here I am using zookeeper properties as it is. Earlier, when we were working in Windows machine, we changed the data directory and some specific properties. As of now, it is not there because in Linux it can be stored in the default temp location, whatever is mentioned in zookeeper properties. Those logs can be accumulated; they are not a problem. Okay. 
so here i can just start that one and here you will see binding to port 0.0.0.0 colon 2181 that is in default port number 2181 our zookeeper is now running okay that is perfectly fine now what we will do if you recall first we started zookeeper then we started our server okay or broker so for that i will open a new console i will duplicate the session and then here i will do login as ec2 user and then here as a first step i have to execute this command why i am executing this command basically i am using ec2 t2 micro instance which is having very less storage and space right if you are not using this command then your kafka server by default require good amount of space so in t2 micro it will throw that space not space limit exceeded or some this kind of error okay so to limit the kafka heap volume whatever it can take i am basically putting minimum and maximum range so mx is basically indicating maximum which is 256 mb minimum is 128 okay so here i am just running that export command in the environmental variable we set it and now what we will do we will basically go inside our directory where we have unzipped and we will start our kafka server using server start.sh okay with the default server properties so if i just run this one here you will see the kafka server will start so here you can see the kafka server id equal to 0 is started okay where it is started here you can see the ip ip hyphen 172 hyphen 31 hyphen 95 hyphen 154 dot ec2 internal and in port 9092 it is running what is this ip address this ip address is nothing but our ec2 instance private ip address okay so let's see so if you go to ec2 instance here you will see the private ip ip hyphen 172 hyphen 31 hyphen 95 hyphen 154 dot ec2 dot internal okay so there our broker is running okay right now the problem is this particular ip is private ip so our client if it is in outside the network then it cannot detect the ip it can detect the public ip though so what we have to do we have to make sure the broker is running in public ip in the port 9092 so for that we need to change little bit the server properties so that's what i have written here it is pointing to private server change the server properties such that it will be pointing to our public server so i will just stop the server uh, script and what i will do i will basically do vi in the server properties either you can do vi or you can open winscp and then in winscp like how we change in windows that way also you can change okay let me just show you that i will go to new site and here host name i'll be taking the public ip and username is ec2 user and here i'll be taking my key pair for authentication this is the key i will log in okay very simple i will click on yes so here we are now inside our ec2 server in the right hand side in the left hand side we are inside windows okay that is not required so here i will go to my right side ec2 server here all the files are present what we need to do we need to go to config and then here in the server properties we need to change one property okay so i will just open that and here it is open and here you can see advertised listener okay this one you have to change what is that if you want to know in detail obviously you can explore but this is more important from the admin aspect if you were just working as a developer in big data domain and you want to explore kafka for poc purpose and all then we are fine just to make the setup ready we might not need to explore these kind of settings in detail so here you need to paste your public ip of your ec2 instance okay so i will just remove your host name and i'll be copying my public ip and here what i will do i will paste that as simple as that and i will do a save okay and then here i can close this here you can see it is basically connecting and progressing now progress is completed now what i can do i can start my kafka server using server properties okay and one more thing i will do in zookeeper for safe side i will just change the connection timeout to a higher value so that it will not be having timeout issue okay so now here you can see our broker is running at 3.83.119.62 colon 9092 and this is nothing but our public ip okay so our broker is also perfectly running I will just change this setting to a higher value 
okay that is done and now what we will do in a new console obviously we will now create a topic and then start our producer so here what we will do in a new console again we will go inside our kafka directory and here use kafka topics.sh to create a topic the topic name is this bootstrap server where our server is running our server is running here right so i'll be just taking the server name and also we have to put the port number where it is running so it is running in default port 9092 right replication factor 1 partition 1 because just i am creating a single broker kafka server so here i will just go inside the server again in a new console here i will go to ec2 user once that is done here what i will do i will basically go inside this particular directory and then here i will create the top so here you can see the topic is successfully created okay once the topic is created all we can do we can start our kafka producer so here bootstrap server i will just provide the server where it is running and i will use kafka console producer to show you the demo okay so here i will just execute that and here my producer is ready here you can see this angle bracket is coming that means our producer is ready in a new session what i will do in a duplicate session i will start my consumer okay ec2 hyphen user i will do and enter inside that i will do a cd directory and then here what i will do i will start my kafka consumer okay same topic from there the consumer will be consuming the data just the server name we are using that's it and here our consumer is also started okay so what i will do i will keep my producer here and i will keep my consumer here okay perfect now what we will do let's see let's publish some message hello world if i just put here you will see in consumer side hello world is coming this is a kafka cluster learning in ec2 okay see it is in near real time the producer is publishing the topic and consumer is consuming from that topic okay cloud computing is super like that messages are coming now you can do all your experiment in cloud if you want if you are comfortable in, in linux machine that also you can do okay so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video the complete code i will be providing in the description box or in the comment section you can try it out if you are facing some issues let me know in the comment section i will try to solve it if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you